Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain on Steve, and today, chums, I'm back inside of the Singularity Expedicione. I guess I am. Now, I've been hit on up with a couple of tips before I move on on, so I better sort of put these out there for you guys to take advantage of. You know, in episode one, I spent ages making a, a terrain manipulator. I say ages, about two minutes. But yeah, you can actually take the terrain manipulator out of your original multi-tool and put it into your other multi-tool. Something else I've been told, I didn't know this, but if you take out this one, the mining beam, oh, okay, I can't take out the mining beam. But anyway, somebody's told me that if you take out the mining beam and put it inside of your other multi-tool, it makes it so it doesn't burn out so quick. But as you can see, I, I have no option to take mine out. Oh, I don't, yes, I, I can move it, but I can't take it out of there. Maybe some people are lucky and maybe they might get another advanced mining laser attachment inside of their starting multi-tool. I wasn't lucky enough. Okay, right, but yes, I could have took advantage of using the terrain manipulator, just as a heads up, people, if you are starting out. Yes, nice little sneaky thing there, but it doesn't really matter. It only takes two minutes to make one, but it is a cool tip. Definitely something I might take advantage of in the future. I just forgot, you could package stuff. Anyway, on this second expedition, on phase two, I should say, phase two, there's this badge here which is Extract Radiant Shards, and I've only got three of 16 on my person right now. I have got the mining beam attachment inside of my multi-tool, so I can get those now, which is great. And the other one is a mass a load of Atalantiums, which is 106 of them on at the moment, but I've got to get 256. So those two, I think I'm going to do while I'm still on this planet, because this planet is one of those lovely planets that's got all that lovely stuff on it. I'm just going to swap back to my other multi-tool, the multi-tool that I got out of the cabinet. There we are. Boom. Yeah, so there we go. I mean, I, I can't put this in there now, really, because I've already got one now. But yeah, I could have done. I could have done, couldn't I? Pretty darn sweet. Anyways, let's um, let's go, let's go, and let's see if we can find ourselves some of these lovely crystals to smash. So there's one over there, Radiant Shard. I'm going to go do those two sort of things now. So I'm going to go to there and grab that one. There was another one just there. Which one's closest? 480, 453. I'm on the one that's closest, but there is one there. Oh, look. And what on the way there, I'd smash all of these as well and get a ton of them because I've got to get to 256. I can see in the bottom left corner, well, just below me. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right on that one now. And I'm going to use that technique that I mentioned earlier in phase one of keeping my mining tool quite hot. So there we go. And then they, they pop a lot quicker then. Boom, boom. It's a whole freaking field of them. Wow. Okay. Oh, the only thing is, I am out in a storm right now. I'm taking a little bit of heat sort of damage here. Well, not damage, but my bar's going down rather rapidly, standing on this little sort of cliff edge. Right, anyway. Oh, fudging heck. There's fire breaking out, people. Fire. Okay. I mean, you can shoot the planet and get all this sort of stuff anyhow with your ship, I suppose. But I don't think you're going to be able to get those bigger ones. All right, well, let's just move on off because it's getting rather toasty where I am right now. Let's just go get these, because I can always hoover up all those ones on the way back to my ship, can't I? So yeah, let's go get the big ones. Right, come on, big one. Let's head on over to here. Lovely jubbly. I'll show you what the big one looks like, and I'll pop the big one. And then, I think what I'd do is I'd, I'd go and gather all these little ones. Yeah, these ones. And also the other big ones on this planet. Uh, because, you know, once you've seen me do one, you don't need to see me do all of them, do you? I mean, how many do I have to get? I have to get freaking 16 of them. So I'm going to be on this planet for a little while, getting all 16 of those, and getting the 256 on the... Oh, look, there's... Oh, there's a couple here. I'll tell a lie. I might, I might have this done super quick. All right. I'll grab that one. Chicka boom. Hopefully I'm not going to upset any sentinels doing this, but there we go. Done. And I got one Radiant Shard, but I think these might be Radiant Shards. Oh no, they're Adelantium. I thought they might be Radiant Shards as well. They looked bigger, didn't they? Oh well, uh, looks like I'm going to have to top up my hazardy protection in a second, people. And my freaking multi-tools just run out. Okay, lovely. All right, hazard protections. Where are you? Bam, bam, bam. Hazard protection. Oh, I haven't got no ion batteries. I have to use the sodium then. All right, fine. Well, I'm going to I'm going to be collecting resources. I'm just going to go and grab all of these. Now, there should be another one of those um, bigger ones around here somewhere, though, shouldn't there? I did see one momentarily ago. Oh, look, there you go. Radiant Shard, just down this hill. Is there two there? 
Uh, it might be. We'll see. And then once I get these ones, then I, I then I sort of just take a little break and drink some of my tea and, uh, and go around the rest of the planet and grab some more of this sort of lovely stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, these ones look a bit bigger. But then I said that about the last ones because they looked a bit bigger as well. Let's just pop these. Okay. Are they all radiant shards? Let's have a look. One. Oh, two. Two radiant shards. Nice. I'm already on six of sixteen. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. Okay, cool. What about you guys? Yes, they're radiant shards too. Okay. And that's Aladium. It, it's quite difficult to tell the difference between the two. The Aladiantium has got a lot bigger, hasn't it? But it doesn't matter because I've got to get that as well. Oh, well, my multi tools run out of freaking again. All right, go on in. Pop. And pop. There we go. We've got the 256 already. That's popped that badge. Nice. All right, so I've just got to get the other six, the other radiant shards now. So let's grab inventory's full, story of my life. And then I've just got to get the other ones there. So I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to get the other ones of those. And then I'll be right back with you guys in a bit. Heck yes. Okay, right. Well, I just cleared out some of my inventory and I've just popped this badge. But I, I've come back in again because it actually gave me something quite cool. So it's given me some extra sort of hazardy protection type stuff it's always given me a cloaking device as well which is good for evading sentinels but where's that hazard protection one that it said that it's given me there it is there so if i stick that onto that yeah i'll probably reconfigure these a little bit better there we are we'll put that like that. let's put them like that there we are and yeah there's no stats over here so i can't see whether that's done me a favor or not but that has helped massively what's this one over here Oh, okay, we've got a paralyzed mortar as well. That's good for us to like paralyzing freaking sentinels with. All right, fine. Anyway, I'm going to press on now and uh, I need to uh, find more of these shardy things. So let's go grab some more of them. I'll be right back soon. Right, oh chums, well, you reconvene on my last one to get a cage. Yes, I've only got to get one more and then I'm going to make the journey back to my ship. But let's go and get this one. I think I might be able to zap it from here, actually, people. Let's give it a go. Yes, I'm zapping you. 138 U's away. This multi tool is pretty darn freaking good. Okay, right. Freaking blow up. There we go. Done. Sweet. And I think I'm going to get an, another multi tool attachment to make the laser even freaking better, mate. Let's have a look. All right, let's pop this one then. Chicka pow. Yeah, pre packaged optical drill unit. Fudging awesome. Mining tool upgrade. Lovely jubbly. And I think another hazardy protection. Here we go. It's an S-Class one. Oh, can I get it next to it? I freaking can't, so I can't get the adjacency bonus. I have got three squares in a row, though. If I move that there, and move that there, I can keep the adjacency there. But now, if I move all my mining stuff up here... Chicka boom There we go. That should make my mining tool freaking epic. Right, okay. What else have we got? We've got one of these. Let's stick that there. Chicka pow Lovely. Oh, and we've got another... Pre packaged one which I can slap there. Bang! <laughs> Lovely. Well, that's going to speed things up massively. Oh, look at. Oh, my days. Look how quick that goes. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, um, I'm getting quite low on the old hazard protection. My ship, I can see it. It's only over there. I haven't ventured too far, people. But it's going to take me a little while to get there in your time. But you know what? For the power of editing, I'll be right there in a moment. I'll see you back at my ship, people. Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, how do you do the things you do? Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Yeah, I love that. Captain, Captain, the Captain Stevie song. Anyway, I'm back at my ship. Let's jump on out. Lovely jubbly. Okay, right, well, um, yeah, I've arrived at Kated back in here. So really, we just need to press on, on with the actual expedition at hand. And I'm going to be doing a complete this one. So complete the second... Pilgrimage? Yes, pilgrimage. Each expedition has several marker around about blah 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 blah. Okay, right, let's go do the blah blah blah. Okay, let's take on off. I mean, I could go around the camp, I could talk to the autophage. Um yeah, let's talk to the autophage, fudge it, because he might give me something. Let's uh, let's talk to him. <laughs> he nearly took off about talking to this guy. Drink the foam. Um I don't know whether I want to give him 71 Antalantium because I've just had to get oops, sod it. There you are. Have it. Have it. Oh, okay. He's just giving me a little bit of code. That's that's pretty much it. And is that it? Is that all I'm getting for my Atalanta? You know how much that stuff's bloody worth, mate? Freaking get back. Okay, don't do that, people at home. Right, well, let's take one off then. 
Yeah, I thought he was going to give me another blueprint for a body part or something, you know, but no, not such luck. Right, let's head on up then, and I guess we're using the galactic map again. Now, people have told me that it, it has game crashes if you do this, and they can't understand how I'm managing to bring up my galactic map after flying out of the planet. They have to go land in a station first or something. Um, well, the PlayStation 5, although it got delayed on the actual original base patch, They've actually put it out with a load of bug fixes, so it jumped. It jumped up a notch, if you look at the actual release table. Yeah, done okay there. All right, I'm gonna have some tea. Well, he caught me still drinking my tea, and I've arrived in that system. I do like the loading times on the old PlayStation 5, I have to say. Boom, freaking done, mate. That tea's freaking digested. It's not. It's somewhere in the freaking organs, though. All right, let's head on down to Rendezvous 2. Oh, God. It's going to take me 30 seconds to get there. I'm not going to use up your time at that. No. See you down there, people. Right, uh, when we reconvene, it says that I've only got two seconds left. Oh, it's locked onto a base called Icy Shack. Sorry, Icy Shack. I'm going to Rendezvous 2. Hold on. Is that going to be... Is that the exact location? It didn't say approximate. Oh, freaking moved! Okay. It's, it's, it doesn't say approximate location, so I'm wondering whether it's taken us right there. Interesting. There is a base right near it. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Fine. It says Rendezvous 2 is here, but I don't see fudging nothing, mate. Fudging nothing of aught either of interest around here either. That's three hours away, so that can't be it. Alright, fine. Well, we'll just land here then anyway. Because this is rough location, I guess. And I guess we're going to be having to traverse on foot to find this location. Arse and biscuits. Yeah, I'm not really into traversing planets when you haven't got many movement modules. You know, it, it feels like you're a slug stuck in taffy. What's going on with all this flickery type stuff that's going on? You see that? I'm seeing that. That's freaking annoying. Okay, right. Um, where have we got to go? Okay, 1,400 U's that way. So it's way past this base. I bet it's there where that comms spool is. Five, yeah, five minutes away. That's probably the way I've got to go, I would imagine. All right, okay, uh, let's see. If I lock onto that. Oh, I like these little bipedal chaps. These little Ewokians in the snow. Let's just go and land by that freaking comms ball that I just tagged. Oh, imagine heck. Launch thrusters, oh man. Let's just hope that it's at an archive or something like an archive. So at least I might be able to buy myself some more launch thruster fuel. That'd be nice. But I think it's going to be somewhere around where this comms ball is. I think. I think. Let's go and have a look. There's a whole freaking roster of them. Look, there's a whole load of comms balls here, people. So I imagine this is near to where I need to be. Let's land here. Oh, for fudge sake. Okay. Land. Have I got stuck? No, I'm good. All right. How far now? 302 U's that way. Well, it's a little bit closer. Probably that base over there, but I'm not going to use any more launch thruster. Why the fudge are they stuck a load of comms balls up here then? All right, fine. Well, they have. Okay, let's um, let's do a suicide jump. Let's uh, let's see if I can survive a suicide jump, shall we, people? I better not be up the top of the blinking mountain though. Oh, fudge and heck. Oh no, that. Oh 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 oh. That is definitely a suicide jump. I, I nearly freaking died. Yes, I hate the comms balls too. This, this could end up killing me. Okay, um, let's think about this a little bit carefully then. Let's, uh, let's run around the side of the mountain. Fudge and heck. Yeah, I forgot I haven't got that many shields, people. I nearly freaking topped myself. I was joking about when I said suicide jump, but that nearly was a suicide jump. What's this resource in the side of the... Oh, fudge and heck! In the side of the mountain. No, 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 no. No, just no. Okay. Holy fudge, Nori, I nearly freaking died. Sod you, comms balls. Get bags. Okay. <laughs> it was my own freaking fault trying to sort of cut a corner. But you know what? I, I Like I say, I, I'm not really into... Oh, you're having a laugh. It better not be up there. It is going to be up there, isn't it? It's up there. Oh, for fudge sake. Okay, well, I'm going to have to wait till my shields replenish. There we go. They're replenishing. Okay, I'm gonna do up my life protect my um my life support as well, people. Because when you're actually using your jetpack, your life support, you see there, it's got three arrows going down. The more you use your jetpack to climb, the more your life support goes down. So before doing something like this, make sure you fully top up 
your freaking life support. I don't know why it does this. It's probably because I'm grinding my face against a freaking mountain. But yeah, it, it goes down rather rapidly. So yeah, fun times. Yeah, I really wish that the sweep stand, a scanner would give you an idea of elevation. So it would tell you roughly how high you've got to go. All right. Is it going to be up there? Yeah, it's up this way. Another 200 freaking U's up into the air. Fudging heck. Okay, well, let's go on up then. And, uh, oh, there's loads of... I could do with some more ferrite dust, actually. Let's pop this. Are you going to give me a decent secondary element? Let's have a look. Boom. And dehydrogen. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll have some of that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, right. Oh, you're a different one. Oh, fudge. Sweep scanner. And scan. What are you going to give me as a second? Carbon. Oh, that, that's good secondary elements on all of these, isn't it, really? Chicka pow. Done. Oh, for, really? All these rocks look identical, yet they're all different, apparently. All right, go. Oh, that one's giving me chromatic metal. I don't think I've ever seen chromatic metal as a secondary element. That's a first for me, people, inside the view of us. But then again, it, it's not often that I go around scanning freaking rocks, because it's the sort of thing that I do when I start a new save. Mm, what do you know? All right, fine. Anyway, we, we've done freaking scanning rocks. What the heck is that giant janky piece of terrain just sticking out from the mountainside there? That's a bit freaking wrong, isn't it? Well, let's head on up here anyway. Let's uh, let's see if we're near to the location I need to be at, which um, I'm not too sure I am. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum. Oh, finalizing signal. I am. Tell a lie. Boom. Okay, and it's just over here. Oh, here it is. It's a freaking campsite again. Hello, doggy cat type creature. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's a little womble type looking thing. All right, let's scan him. I think he might have passed away. I think this cat ki ki creature killed him. All right, fine. Let's scan. I didn't scan that little guy. Yeah, he's dead. He's being eaten. Being eaten. Okay, fine. At least he didn't go to waste, though. Hey. Okay, we've got some... Oh, suspicious packet from a wheelbarrow. Normally I only get like nanites and stuff from there or some some slime or something. It's very rare I get like anything half worth having. Boom. Okay, well what did that give me? It gave me a defense chit. Alright, I probably won't ever need it. I need to go to a station and install all of this stuff so I can free up some slots. Need to do that rather quickly. But let's just do this uh, campsite anyway. We've reached the rendezvous point. Let's um do this guy. Alright, fine. This scrapper's camp is much like the first. Half-built machines, abandoned attempt at new technology, the unwanted or unprofitable remains of countless salvaged operations which these categories did this autophage belong to. Well, let's go on in. Let's do some frickin' GCSE math that I suck at, shall we, people? Right, okay. So, um, yeah, let's, um, let's just do this inside here. 6 plus 1, 7. I'm just typing them into my search bar. 15 minus 2, 13. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So 7, 13, 2. 7, 13, 2. 7, 13, 2. Okay. Sweet. 7, 13, and 2. So there we go. 7... 13. Yours might be different, people, so don't just go and trust the math that i done. They, they can be different each time. And two. Has that worked? Has my GCSE math? Yes, passed the test. Heck yes. Brilliant. Lovely jubbly. Alright. Cool. And dump a memory. There we are. What we get? Hands to grasp. Everything that was owed to us. Robbed. Betrayed. Purged. No, it looks like we're getting the arms. I extract what I can from the autophages, decomposing memory. It appears to contain another set of construction schematics. Brilliant, eh? Just what I wanted for Christmas. Right, there we are. It's not, but there we are. We've got a quad, quad servo. Cool. I've been gifted one of those. Otherwise, we're about to have to take on a sentinel dog. Lucky I didn't chuck the quad servo. So note to people out there watching right now in the view of us. Keep your quad servo. Okay, carbon nanotubes and wiring loom. Well, wiring loom, I can only get at the station. I want to go to the station, so that's all right. But before I leave here, I need to make sure that I've got enough freaking carbons. Now, boom, grab that. Lovely jubbly. Grab that. Lovely, lovely. Hello, plague demon. What the? I'm not plague demon. 
Okay, well, I could use this to unlock the um, the old thingy if I wanted to, the multi-tool cabinet, but I'm not going to bother. Yeah, I know I could probably nick some bits out of the multi-tool and swap them for nanites at the station and all that sort of shenanigans. Well, you can do that if you really want to. I can't be freaking arsed. There's another freaking maths equation to do, and I'm, I'm no, fudge it. And I'm happy with the multi-tool I've got, so I'm good. Right, okay, my ship. Where the fudge is my ship? I don't think it's all that far away, actually, people. I don't really want to use up my launch thruster fuel, if I can help it. It's only 295 views down. Actually, it's on top of another freaking mountain peak. It, oh, sod that. Actually, yeah, let's call in my ship. Um, I thought better of it, people. We're just going to call it in here. If I have to make some launch thruster fuel, I have to make some launch thruster fuel. But I'd rather buy some at the station. Let's see if I can take off. If I can take off, we'll reconvene at the station. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a few bits up there. So let's take on off. Boom. Let's go to the station. I'm going to pop that badge once I've sold a few things. Because my inventory is rather full, isn't it? All right. I'll see you guys in a mo at the station. Cheery. Bye. Hello people, well I've landed inside of the Stasione. I guess I have, let's jump on out of the old shipty ship. Lovely, coolio. And let's go and install all of those extra bits of tech that I've got. I might also jump myself inside of the appearance modifier to make myself look a little bit more dapper than I do right now. Anyway, let's um, let's do ship upgrades. Boom, I should have some apply and more augmentations. Yes, I got a few there. Chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka pow, pow, pow. Lovely jubbly. I think you can probably hear Ivy sneezing in the background. Yeah, she, she's got hay fever. She's just been doing some gardening. She probably didn't take her tablet before she did that. Right, well, let's head on over here. Let's um, upgrade this guy as well. Cool, yes. Upgrade Exosuits Mondo. And can I do some more of that, please? Yes, please. I want to do some more of that. I know I've got some on me, so why the fudge not, mate? Here we go. Bang, 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 bang. I could have done technology, but I've done the actual storage slots, and that's all that done. Have you got any movement modules? Please have movement modules. That'd be lovely if you've got a movement module or two just sitting in your back cupboard there, sir. Then again, saying that, I haven't got a great deal. Ooh, no. Okay, I can't get one. Anyway, there's a shield one there, which would have been nice, but I can't afford them. All right, nice one. Um, what else is there? Multi-tool. Multi-tool expansion slots. Let's go do that. Boom. Okay, here we go. Install a multi tool slot. It's got a lot of broken freaking stuff in this as well. Hmm, you can get repair kits while you're up here. You can usually buy a repair kit from this guy. The only trouble is he charges a freaking packet, if I remember rightly. Let's see how much he sells them for. Okay, acquire coordinates, no. We'll purchase old scrap. Repair kit. Look, you've got to use tainted metal. So you've got to run a derelict freighter to get his repair kits from him. But yeah, that's a nice way of getting your multi-tool up to speed. I don't know whether I want to run a freaking derelict freighter. Not not without getting a load of shield modules and multi-tool modules and stuff like that type modules. Anyway, I want to go sell some stuff. I could have done it over this side. There is a traveller up there. We could go to the traveller's grave and get a glyph. But I don't think we need the portals in this expedition. Or if we do, I'm not, I don't know about it. Let's head on over here. I'm only on phase two and I haven't read too far ahead. All right, cool. Let's go into here then and let's um, sell a few bits and bobs. I'm going to sell my living slime. Don't sell the quad servo. Heck no. Salvage data. I might as well hold on to that. This is the trouble. You don't really know what you need to keep and what you can um, chuck away. So just be very freaking careful. Um... Yeah, it's like even the gold nuggets and the lenium. I mean, they, they do spin into quite useful stuff. And pognium might be related to the actual mission as well. I can sell the silicate powder. I can get rid of that. I might as well get rid of the defense chit. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to get attacked by pirates now. You know what I mean? It's it's one of those. It's it's a bit of a gamble what you sell. But you need your um, you need your storage at this early stage is really more than you need a lot of this other stuff. All right, fine. Well, I think I've got a few free slots now. I've got enough free slots anyway to pop that badge that we just got. So we might as well pop that. Lovely. Oh, we can build base computers now. Nice. That always comes in handy. It really does. Cool. Yep. And I also got given a thousand nanites. So I could go and buy one of those modules. But I, I really want a movement one, to be honest. I'll save my pennies for that. Why, why are you flashing at me? Okay, I've got to assemble this. Carbon nanotubes. I should have checked my carbon stuffage before I left the freaking planet, shouldn't I? Wiring looms. Of course, I've got to buy a wiring loom. It's the whole reason we came up here, people. Okay, so we're going to buy. And I'm going to buy a couple of wiring looms just in case. I buy four. There we are. 
and uh, yeah I'm gonna be in I'm um, hopefully now I'm gonna be able to make can I make the carbon nanotubes I can there we are now we can construct the arms because I've got a load of carbon in my ship from shooting the planet nice we've got that we can install this as well which goes into where exactly into here okay we'll put that there then okay what does it boost does it boost those I don't know what this boosts okay well I can move that over to there that'd be nice okay cool not too sure what that's boosting exactly sentinel modification oh shield strength well I haven't got a freaking shield in there. I'll just stick it next to these for now all right cool right we've got all that then nice um oh you know what I could oh my days I could move those over to there oh actually that's a boosted one we'll leave that in there Pow. how much of a boost does that one give me anyway no just airborne recharging that's the one I want boosted you can see there that it's freaking boosted to the nines nice if I had an S class one in that boosted slot though oh look there we go we just popped another badge awesome well, let's um let's claim the rewards then claim the rewards for that one construct limbs sch schematics I can do lubricants now well I've already constructed I've already done that I've already got I've already freaking done it mate done it freaking does what mate freaking say hello yeah freaking wah go on done that got this one got all hands to grasp packaged has mad gauntlets and six iron batteries brilliant don't have to buy any of them nice oh what I do need is launch thruster fuel can I buy some launch thruster fuel please hold in the wall oh look there's hydraulic wiring here somebody left me a message to say make sure you buy hydraulic wiring if you see it people so i'm going to buy that i'm going to buy one of them in fact i'll buy two okay and what did i come in here for i came in here for something not that oh yeah launch thrusters oh, there's nothing here for launch thrusters okay all right fine but what do i need to make launch thruster fuel then billy b i can never remember the recipe all oh, right okay metal plating all right well let's uh, let's craft a couple of metal platings let's see if i can craft a couple of these done there we go <laughs> we're all set for our next stage of the mission let's uh, let's get this installed hazmat gauntlets why the fudge not done might as well move that into that top corner i like it in the top corner there we go the stuff that doesn't do much just to go over there and that's pretty much it i think that's pretty good uh we i think we're okay to press on on now commune with the atlas don't mind if i do let's go do that ah that's a thing uh what about i've still got some warp fuel i could do with crafting more but uh let's see if i can craft a bit more of that before i move on so i need some antimatter one two three four and let's craft some antimatter housing one two three four and then i can hopefully craft more of these bang 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 done we've got six of them and that should do that should do i think we're all good <laughs> let's take to the stars brilliant sweet take one off fly on out i could have checked to see if there was some s-class warp modules to make my ship even better at warp capabilities but you know what it's not too bad as it stands anyway from from some of the freebies that i've got so I'll st there you go see i'm jumping all the way there freaking awesome well i'll see you there people i guess i will well, I'm arrived at Kating, and where's this Atlas station then when it's at home? There it is, you big lovely marble you. Well, big freaking pyramid type looking thing. Brain dead system. Okay, interesting. Well, let's, let's fly it in. Let's fly on in. Lovely. Let me in, let me in. Sweet. I wonder who named this system. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Brain dead system. Let's go to your discoveries page. Brain dead by Sensei and Sensei. Good girl. Is it Sensei? You know, like a Kung Fu type Sensei. Wah, 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 wah. I had my own Sensei once. His name's Clive Whiteworth. Yes. Taught me how to do martial arts. Um, now uh, was it? There was a couple that he taught me. JKD and um, oh, Carve Magra and uh, Filipino stick fighting. He runs the intense training group. I went there for about three years. Yeah. A little bit of info on the old captain. Right, let's jump on out then. I'm not bothered about learning the Atlas words. We're just going to freaking run down there. But you see those two pedestals at the end? They're also going to give me some warp fuel. So, you know, I probably didn't need to craft any warp fuel. You get given quite a freaking lot, to be honest. Just remember to interact with them. There you go. One. And two. One, two. Back on my shoe. And look. Look what I got. Yeah, I got them up there. Up there. I can nearly touch them. I can touch them. Yeah. Ha, touched you. 
Right, look at that. <laughs> Let's head on up then. Let's go and talk to uh, the old Atlas, even though it's just noise. There's a sort of voice fills the universe. Why do I find myself here again? Why should the Atlas care about me, about my construct? Such an in insignificance could scarcely register at the Atlas infinite scale. Well, I've got a theory, got a theory, but I think I'll hold on to my theories. I'm going to do a lore deep dive after I've done all of this and um, go into stuff. And yet here I am. Present my construct parts. Boom. There we go. All creation is the language of the Atlas. It would not speak to me now, but everything I see, everything I hear, everything I choose to do, that it is a message. It's speech. Okay. That is. Okay. Brilliant. Lovely. Despite my doubts, the Atlas, this impossible, serene machine reacts. Does it speak to me? To the construct? To something else? Who knows, people? Who knows? It is. Perhaps I'll never know, but I will continue. I guess. Boom. Okay, right. Well, I've got the I've got the uh, seed of dreams, mate. I just need some pure ferrite now. Just need some pure ferrite. All right, cool. Well, brilliant. We've just visited the Atlas Diocione, and have I got some ferrite on me? I've got some pure ferrite there. Inside my ship, do I have some ferrite? Yes, of course I do, because I shot the planet. Right. Go back to my exosuit. Grab this stuff. Chuck it in that thing wind it into pure ferrite and i might even be able to make that freaking thing before i even leave the atlas station yeah i'm baking some pure ferrite on the go right well i might as well just hit stop there i think that's enough thank you very much i'll have that hundred lovely jubbly okay let's see if we can um ch turn this marble into that marble boom we've got the seed of power lovely is that going to pop a badge i think it is yes it is <laughs> forge the second atlas seed i guess i have Lovely jubbly. Well, um, that's good. I can pop the badge as well then, can't I? Heck yes, I can. I can pop two. Boom. What have I got for this one? Uh, yeah, I, I, I've already done it, mate. Done it. Freaking what? See the power, revelation, warp hypercore times two. I didn't need to craft any freaking hyper fuel or anything. I'm, I'm getting gifted it. I'm getting freaking gifted it by the universe, people, all the bloody time. All right. Okay. Well, next one then. Let's pop this one. Pow. Pre-packaged neutron cannon unit. Oh. Heck yes, Supreme Neutron Cannon Unit times two. Oh, bring it on. I think that means we're probably going to be taking on freaking Sentinels next time, though, people. That'll be my guess, anyway. Well, I, I really need to get some of this stuff repaired. I, I, I don't think I can repair it. Ah, inverted mirror. Hold on. Let's see if I can repair some of this. What do I... C -c catalyzed heart. I, I don't know where I got the crystallized heart from. I don't really want to use it. I can use the Atalantium though. Let's get some of these for fixed anyway. Crystalline heart. I fix all the ones that are for with the Atalantiums because I can get that quite easy. Radiant shard. Okay, might as well. Let's stick that in there. I can get more of those. Okay, that's not a problem. I just don't know about the crystalline heart. I can't remember how I blinking got the one I got. Radiant shard. There we are. Lovely. Inverted mirror. Okay, well, we can put this weapon over here, I think. And let's go back to my exosuit. Because it, it said that I got given a whole freaking load of these things. Nice, I did. Heck yes. Looks like you can stack them. What the fudge? S class modules stack now? Is that a thing? Okay. No, the, apparently it's a thing. All right, cool. Well, we've got all that in. Oh, we've got one more here. Heck yes. Boom. Freaking look at the damage potentials. It's gone through the roof, people. That goes. I'll move that over there as well. Fudge it. I know it doesn't give me any sort of linkage, but it's a weapon, so fudge it and go there for now. All right. Okay. Oh, are we bloody done? I think we're done. Oh. Okay, we're done. Uh, we finished. We finished. We finished. Phase two done, mate. Freaking done. All right, cool. Sweet. Dissonant trail, jetpack exhaust override, lovely jubbly. Oh, sweet, we just got ourselves a lovely jetpack trail. You know what I didn't do? I didn't go in the appearance modifier in the last freaking station. I didn't make myself look nice and swanky. But you know what? Let's go in the, the appearance modifier in the station quickly before we end this episode, because I don't really want to save inside of the Atlas. I feel a bit nervous about saving inside the Atlas. We go save inside of the station, but you know what? I'm going to make myself look nice and funky. I'll tell you what, I'll see you back in the station. We're reconvening the station, people, okay? See you in a moment. Well, people, I was flying to the station and this thing freaking warped in. Look how close I was to the station. I nearly freaking brown trousered myself. All right, okay, let's uh, let's get the communique. 
I want to load more hex codes. So yeah, I've, I've already done translation of all these hex codes with help from various people. All the credits are in that video description. If you want to see the video and see what all this stuff means, hit up that link there, people. Hit up that link. It's all the all this stuff all, all, all translated. I've made it as scary and as creepy as possible and robotic it sounding as I could. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Okay, we've just got a radiant shard from it. Now, if I blow this thing up, I'm going to get given a load of other sort of commodities. Let's hope I get given one of those crystallized brains. That would be nice. But I kind of think these might be escape pods for those robot sort of consciousnesses. Okay, we've got a load of Atalantean. Okay, brilliant. We've got a load of that. Oh, fudge and heck. Um, Sentinels are not happy with me. I don't blame them, to be honest. Um, I, yeah. I think I, I think I think they are sentinel sort of life rafts or something. Going by some of the translations I got people from that hex video that I put up there earlier. Be sure to go watch that if you want to know what all those translations are, because it might it might add to my lore deep dive video that I'm going to do at some stage. Anyway, you know what? It's going to take me a while to make my look and feel look pretty darn snazzy. I want to be red, white, and black to match my ship. I'll go in the appearance modifier and add that jetpack trail. I'll show you how to add the jetpack trail though towards the end of it. Okay people, so I'm on backpack at the moment and all I need to do is select the jetpack trail I want. So it's going to be the purple one because that's what we just unlocked, the distant one, lovely. And I want my jetpack to have the striped markings. I'm going to go red, white and black, lovely. Banner, not too really fussed about the banner, it's almost the right colours anyway, I'll just put that like that. I do, freaking awesome. Alright, well that's going to be my new look and feel. Yes, yeah, so I'm rocking with the Johnny Five sort of, yeah, from Short Circuit type head. I figured since it's a robotic sort of expedition, let's go a little bit more robotic with my character. But I'm pretty happy with the way he freaking looks, heck yes. And you know what, let's, uh, let's uh, get one of these for free, because why the fudge not? Now you can call in the Nexus and go next to um, Celine and get another one of these unlocked if you really want to, to be a bit quicker with all that sort of stuff. Hello there mate, have you got a movement module? Please have a movement module, that'd be lovely if you do. He has got a movement module and I can afford it! Heck yes I can. Oh, I can afford a shield module as well, you know what. Spoil me! Brilliant! Okay, cool, let's get those installed then. Okay, movement module, where are you? Okay, well, we're going to install the shield module then. We'll put the shield module up there. And I can move that next to the shield module. Bang! Lovely. And there's my uh, movement module. Now, what I want to do is take that off the boosted slot, move that down there, and then move that onto the boosted slot. Let's see what sort of boosted stats I get. Oh, oh, oh. That's nice. That's very nice. Cool. Done, Dilly, and done. All right, fine. Well, let's uh, go jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save, and I think we're going to be ready to press on on with phase three. People inside the view of us in the next unit, the next episode. Well, oh, I'm enjoying this one. This is a pretty good one, isn't it? Heck, yes, it is. Anyway, people, thank you very much for watching, and um, I'll see you for episode three. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Oh, wrong button. There we go. That's the right one.